I, you know, I never really thought of my future as a kid. I didn't really think of employment as something that I was going to pursue. I, I think a lot of that has to do with my privilege, you know, coming from a stable, white, lower middle class family where I knew it was expected that I would go to college. I thought that I would have plenty of time to figure that out. My name is Jamie and I am currently the of programs and partnerships with the Idaho Food Bank, but I've been working in the nonprofit sector for 23 years. I first started in this sector at the YMCA and I sat at the top of the slide and I said, go, go, go for a summer. I was there for several years. I worked in childcare there, the equipment desk, climbing wall. I've worked at Life's Kitchen, which is youth 16 to 21 that are at risk. They're getting their GED, life skills, and uh, kitchen skills to become employable. I've worked at the ACLU of Idaho as their development director. I was the executive director of Family Advocates, which is an organization in Boise that works with children with abuse, neglect, and abandonment. I think there's a certain level of tolerance for pain that I've, I've had, and part of that was due to ignorance, but part of that was due to the joy of the challenge, seeking the challenge. I would say that people want to employ me in this sector because I get things done. I mean, when I took on Family Advocates, it was $360,000 in debt, and my very first phone call was from a debt collector. We'd gone from 18 FTEs to six full-time staff members, and we had six programs to run across 10 Idaho counties. Like, and I still accepted the job. Any woman who has taken a position of authority or has had opinion in public recognizes that there's a label that's subscribed to them. You're being too aggressive, you're being too loud, you're being too opinionated. So when you're subscribed those labels, you get reinforced that it's not appropriate for you to be a leader. It's not appropriate for you to ask questions. It's not appropriate for you to take up space, whether that's physically or verbally. When you're confronted with those situations, it isn't encouraging to continue in your career. It encourages you to take a step back and watch other people lead. The people promoting individuals are looking for certain skill sets. They're looking for somebody to give them the answer. They want the definitive answer. I would just say things with confidence and people would believe me. And that's not leadership, that's manipulation. But that's what leaders do. Converting your leadership style is, is not easy, especially because every single person you come in contact with has a different definition of what it should be. So you really have to tailor who, how you're presenting to people on, on a minute-by-minute minute basis sometimes. When I tried to stretch my leadership into a more compassionate, empathetic, and um, equity-focused mindset, it was almost painful. I mean, because you weren't just changing your day-to-day -day operations, you were trying to force your superiors, the people that you're accountable to, your stakeholders, your community, into what you saw, your vision. And ultimately, it led to me leaving my leadership position. Frankly, I still don't know what I want to do when I grow up. But I figure I'll just like build my own jobs or take jobs where I get to learn and grow and be a different person and uh, invest in my personal life, which is something that I don't think people in this sector do enough. We have a tendency to martyr ourselves and Burnout is really high, and so if you are able to invest in your personal life, I'm not gonna say self-care, because I think that's an overused term that doesn't really denote activity, but you have to actively invest in your personal life. Make sure you're surrounded by friends and family that love and care for you and you love and care for. You have to make sure that you're eating healthy and exercising, and all of that takes time. And if you're martyring yourself for a mission, then you'll never invest in yourself. So I have a lot of learning on leadership to go, including turning off my cell phone during interviews. <laughs>